Well, hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Desert Sky Adventures, and welcome back to Tombstone. Today is the 93rd annual El Dorado Days. It actually starts today, and it's going on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And this is the biggest festival of the year for Tombstone. El Dorado, just like everything in Tombstone, has a very interesting story behind it. But in the early 1900s, Tombstone's economy was in rough shape. The price of silver dropped, and the population that was one time larger than that of Los Angeles had dropped to under 700. In 1926, a man named George H. Kelly became the new owner of the Tombstone Epitaph. His son was named William and was an editor of the Epitaph. William came up with an idea. 1929 marked 50 years since Tombstone was formed. William thought, let's have us a party, a special celebration. And that's exactly what they did. The idea behind that first El Dorado days was to get publicity and bring tourism to the small, fledgling town. The idea worked, and people came from miles around to attend that first El Dorado days back in 1929. It was estimated that 7,000 people attended the first event. Today, El Dorado days is basically a celebration of American Western heritage. And just like back in the day, thousands of people show up to come out to this festival. So today we're gonna walk around, take a look at the festival, and we're invite you to come along. Let's go check out Tombstone's El Dorado Days. Tombstone has many annual festivals and El Dorado is the biggest of them all. It's a great time to come to Tombstone, because aside from all the regular Tombstone attractions, you've also got a bunch of extras, like all sorts of different street vendors and special food and drinks out on the streets. There will also be plenty of gunfight shows. But the Hell Dorado Days Festival has a parade every year. And it starts traditionally as well. Our national There's also going to be plenty of live music.
does get pretty crowded for these festivals and the bars are usually packed, but let me let you in on a little secret. If you want to get a drink quickly, head down to the Tombstone Old West theme park and Fireworks. head over here to the cantina in the corner. They don't have quite the selection that a regular bar will, but they do have a few choices and you're not going to have to wait very long to get it. Just make sure you consume your drink within the premises of the theme park there or you might end up having a talk with our town marshal. Another easy place to grab a drink or two during a festival is at the Oriental Saloon. And because they don't serve food at the Oriental Saloon, it's usually not quite as crowded. All right, so we grabbed a couple drinks at the Oriental Saloon, and uh, Jennifer oh, yes. and Ween's over here got some new hats, and I got one too. You ready? <laughs> I look like I'm an Amish person. <laughs> I wanted a wide air pad, so I got one. So, actually, Ween's got it for me. That was very nice of her. Happy birthday! It was kind of expensive. I was like, uh, I don't need a $150 hat, but she insisted on getting it for me, so I'm gonna wear it. And at the grand finale of this year's El Dorado was the raffling off of this Henry repeater rifle. Someone is going to win this gun. We bought a few raffle tickets for ourselves. Let's see how our luck goes. Looks like they sold quite a few tickets, but you never know. We're almost, We're almost ready. Where are you from, honey? When the ticket buyers get down, we'll bring it over here. And then we'll have Silver City. Give her a big hand, ladies and gentlemen. In just a few minutes, she will draw the winning ticket. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Colt 45 Henry Maiden Rifle for Colorado 2020 is Kelly Hams. No! Kelly Hams, are you here? Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our 93rd annual Colorado celebration. We want to thank you on behalf of the Fort. All right, guys. Well, that was the end of the festival, 93rd. Can you believe that? 93rd. El Dorado Festival. I didn't win the gun, unfortunately, but I got me a cool hat. <laughs> and uh, that's going to have to be good enough for today. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us, checking out the festival. And we'll be back here next year to do it again. So from all of us here in Tombstone Historic District, till next time, folks, see you down the road.